Good morning, I'm Polarized Moon and welcome back to RuneScape. It's been quite a while since I recorded this last. Um, and I'm currently in the middle of... I, I don't think I've ever... I don't think I've recorded an episode of this on this camera yet, even. It's been that long. Uh, also, I'm recording this on my broken computer. Uh, I am... I have a new one coming sometime soon. So, I figured this is fairly easy for my computer to run, I can record it. And I ran out of episodes of this, so... I'm gonna use this time to record a bunch of these. Also, if the, uh, if the, <laughs> the computer stops working or has to be sent, you know, has to be returned or whatever, I can just use the extra time that I didn't use recording for my, my, my membership to just get more money so that I can get another membership afterwards. So, I, I figured it, it, it's a win-win. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue on with the, with the quests, because I'm approximately halfway through the quests. We're, what, we're, we're episode almost, what, what episode are we on? Four, 300? I don't even know. Um, we're getting, we're getting pretty close. So, we're at, uh, we're gonna do, looks like we've got total combat. Looks like we've got one back. Because we did, um, we we're in the middle of the champion quests and they, I guess they added a new one here. So this must be fairly new. Uh, looks good to me. I'm, I'm actually just gonna take a look. I know that there's a new, uh, a new free quest, but it's way down here, and now that I'm kind of doing these in this order, I kind of want to get them done, you know, I kind of want to do them in the, in the, the timeline order, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do this. How, how far back is this quest here? There's the Pathfinder Adventurer. Oh, wow, that is way back there. Holy crap. Yeah, because I'm in the middle of champion quests right now, and I think I've got... Oh, I don't have that many of them left. That's cool. Alright, so yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. Talk to Posty Pizza by the entrance to Verox Sewers. Alright, I mean, I'm not too far from there already anyway, so that shouldn't be too hard. Posty Pizza? That's a thing? Alright. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Climb into Underwall Tunnel. Man, like, I know that they're they're doing a big overhaul of this, like, right now. I don't know, maybe we're gonna get, maybe we're gonna get RuneScape 4 soon. Because this is, uh, RuneScape 3 currently. Um, I started playing this for RuneScape 3 because I hadn't, uh, when I started playing this series, and I actually started my whole channel because... I, there was RuneScape 3 and I hadn't ever played it. And I was like, ah, oh, I, I kind of stopped you know, at RuneScape 2, and I just kind of fell out of it, but it's still a really fun game. I do want to, uh, which is now called RuneScape Classic. Um, so, there's that. Signpost. Alright, so I don't know what's been changed since the last time I played this. Posty Pizza. Hi, Pete. Oh, hello, Polarized Moon. How did you know it was me? Uh, you have a very distinctive gait. Who else would you be? I suppose I do. I'm in disguise, so no one asks me to post anything on my day off. I'm pretending to deliver pizza so I can engage in my favorite pastime. Which is... Delivering pizza! Seems very familiar to your- similar to your day job. Ah, uh, they're worlds apart, Polarized Moon. For a start, most po most... For a start, most po isn't this post isn't this warm. Nah, uh, it smells different too. Anyway, I need your help. We have received a request via the carrier rat for pizza for a pizza in this location. The client is in the sewer somewhere, and I'd rather not drag my jawbone through the muck. Can you take the pizza down to the manhole for me? Uh <laughs> accept quest. Fantastic. Take a pizza into a sewer sounds like my idea of a good time. Glad you see it that way. Piping hot pizza. There you go! You're looking for a creature named Wolfgang, and his friends are Tortles. Oh. Oh. Oh, I get it. <laughs> We're bringing pizza to the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That, that's great. Oh, man. So what was the, uh, what was... <laughs> Tortle combat. Uh, what was the name of the... That's hilarious. Okay, so there's a rat down here somewhere. Oh, is it over there? I see... I see something new over here. 
Oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> Gustav. Oh, there's five of them. And a rat. That's hilarious. So we've got Alfred, Wolfgang, Edvard, Johan, and Gustav. So we've got... <laughs> We've got more classical names, but they're first names rather than last names. That's really funny. All right, so I'm supposed to bring it to Wolfgang. Supper is on, is it? Excellent work, hand it over, would you? Give the pizza to the turtle. So what in Gilinor are five turtles doing in a place like this? It's quite a peculiar story, actually. For a long time, we were an island in the middle of goodness knows where. It's a lovely place, much brighter than here. Oh, we get, we get backstory. Oh, this is hilarious. Oh, are they trapped on... Okay. Turtles. Oh, did he just teleport them here? Oh. Okay. So the, into the abyss. All right. And then they got... What madness just happened? We're doomed! Our island! <laughs> oh no. Oh man. So they just got teleported here. Being trapped and teleported here sounds like quite the ordeal. It's been a bit of adjustment, I can tell you. Alfred has not been the same since. He does look worse off than the rest of you. I'm certain we pulled through, though. He's a real trooper. When we're back home, I witnessed him win a duel- a- a- a truel? A truel? A truel against a giant jellyfish to Crassian. What's a truel? Three-way duel. Battle of skill and wits. Oh, a tri-duel. Okay. As you can tell, our trip to the Abyss has made us communication a bit easier, too. I haven't felt this eloquent for a while. You're remarkably well-spoken compared to most of the creatures I've seen hunted. People hunt turtles? That is barbaric. Uh... Why haven't you left the sewer? The ladder that leads to the light has pre presented a significant challenge. We shall conquer this foe eventually, but for now our time is here. Our home is here. What will you do now? I've actually been working on a plan. Our newfound clarity has revealed to us that this place is a little hostile than we would all like, so we need to toughen up a bit. We were some powerful looking warriors on our- There were some powerful looking warriors on our island. The Death Lotus, I think they were called. Not nice people, but they were well practiced, which is exactly what we need to be. So, what's the plan? Step one, improve our agility. Step two, improve our speed. Step three, arm ourselves. As such, I would like to found a new training dojo here as our new home. You seem capable adventure type, could you give us a nudge in the right direction? Ah, uh, yes. Creating the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Excellent, thank you very much. First thing we need is some equipment to train on, particularly items that will help with our agility. I placed a contract with an estate agent for the construction of some equipment, and as yet has not arrived. Would you mind hurrying to the estate agent along for us? Of course. Cool. So which one? Alfred's the one that took it a little bit worse than the others, I guess? Doesn't seem up for talking right now. Interesting. So these are weapon racks, I would assume? Oh, this is... this is hilarious. Oh my god, we're making the Ninja Turtles. The Ninja Turtles. So, I need to go talk to the estate agent? There is an estate agent immediately up and out, out of here. Alright. <laughs> this is... this is fantastic. So I'm assuming I'm gonna have to go get weapons for them, too. Either that or they've, they may have already, you know, got weapons. Um, the estate agent's over here. It's like, wait a second, that's not the right building. Unless this isn't the right estate agent, though I don't see why it would be, wouldn't be. Uh, contracts? Talk to. Uh, hello, the Gilinorian Housing Agency. What can I do for you? Total combat. I don't suppose you've had a contract request from Varak Sewers, have you? Ah, so the culprit finally shows their face. What do you mean? 
Rats. I keep getting rats offering me formal contract requests. Day and night. Have you tried setting a house after a rat- Selling a house after a rat approaches you with a letter and a viewing? It's never come up, no. Have you tried to sleep after a rat wakes you up with a memo? I don't think that- I mean, my client realized this would cause you such an issue. Well, tell your client I don't want their business. Okay. And get rid of those rats. Uh-oh. That's, a uh, no good. Alright, so I, I... I'm assuming I'm gonna have to end up making this stuff myself. Uh, that's probably what's gonna go... What's gonna go on here. <laughs> I can't... I can't believe... This is hilarious. Alright. So, let's go talk to Wolfgang again. Dude doesn't want to make your stuff. You should probably stop sending rats to the estate agent. Why? It's not considered good form to send rats to chase people down with formal letters. This new world will take some getting used to. So the estate agent won't help us? I'm afraid not. Who usually does this contract work for him? I'm not sure, but cert I'm certainly capable enough. Start anything in useful coincidence. Then I must ask, can you construct our training equipment? Uh, how can I say no to that face? Eh, through the formation of mouth words? Yes, I'll help. And we will clear some space for you to build in. Fantastic. Uh, where was- Oh, it's in that room. What sort of equipment do you want? Something to fight, something to climb, something to swing on, and something to balance on. Have you tried any of those actions before? Absolutely not, they sound dangerous. I'm sure you'll get the hang of them soon. I should probably survey the area and see what I can fit things in. Or where I can fit things in. Alright, so... Oh, there's a... Oh, okay, I see. Five normal planks, 15 iron nails. Oh, okay, I'm gonna need... I'm gonna have to write down what I need, unless it tells me. Uh, mini quest. nope, okay. I guess I'm gonna write this down, I'm gonna write this stuff down myself. Uh, let me get a note page ready. There we go. Okay, I need five planks and 15 nails. Iron nails. Let me make sure I have that written down so I know what I'm doing. Uh, alright. So there's four things I need to build. Okay, uh, a rope. Rope, two buckets of sand. Uh, three planks, so I'm gonna put a three next to that. 15, and another 15 iron nails. Okay. I need five more planks. Uh, 15 and more 15 more nails and a rope so I'll go another rope there and then this needs three planks three fifth more oh one more rope and 15 iron nails all right did this need more than- did this need another rope also, or am I just, you know, dumb? Five, okay. I think I've got everything that I need. Uh, let me check over one more time. Uh, rope, an empty sack. That's right, there we go. I would have missed that. Okay. Cool. I need... What? Uh, 16 planks, three ropes, two sand buckets, a sack, and 40, 60 iron nails. All right. I should be able to do that. I might have the majority of that stuff. I don't know if I have a sack, though. I'm pretty sure I have sand, and if I don't, I can go to, um... I can go to, uh... 
where is it called and have that guy give me sand because I have that thing where I can just get sand every day. There's a... There's a lot of daily things you can do in this game. Okay, uh... Sand. Okay, two buckets of sand. Uh, oh, whoops. Nope. Uh, rope. I need one more rope after that. Um, sack of lost property. I don't even know what that is. Uh, planks. I think the planks are down here. How many do you need? 16? Uh, was it 16? Hold on. 5, 10, 16. Yeah, 16. Uh, and then iron nails. I needed 60, I believe. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Yes. I just need to go get a... I don't, I don't think I have a sack. Nah, these don't... Oh, those are the... Oh, those are the Django. Okay. I need to go get one more rope and a sack. I don't remember where to get a sack, but I can just go to the... Well, maybe, maybe I can buy a rope at the... This shop here. I'm pretty sure there's a rope upstairs somewhere here, but I don't remember where. Uh, you don't have any. Uh, alright. I'm just gonna go to the, um... Where is a rope? I know there's a rope that spawns somewhere. I can never remember where it is. And I always end up having to go fight the, 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 th the thieves and stuff to go get them. But I'm just gonna go to the Grand Exchange and buy a sack and a rope. Because that's not a big deal. And... Buy. Sack. Empty sack. One. That's not worth a whole lot, so I'm just gonna crank that up so I get it quicker. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> um... Okay, let's get the rope. Oh, that's worth quite a bit. All right, that's fine. Um, where can I get a sack? Oh, it's a farming item, isn't it? Hold on, let me bump this up to like a thousand. There we go. I I, I, don't, I don't care. All right, so that should be everything that I need to. Uh, that should be everything that I need to get from these guys, or get for these guys, not from them. All right, that was uh, fairly easy. Let me get back to my, uh, there we go. Fantastic. I did it. Uh, let me organize this a little bit. Uh, there we go. Yeah, they're gonna be pulled out in weird ways anyway. It's not really all that big of a, big a deal. Okay, and then we, uh, hold on, is, uh, okay, that's not, okay. Alright, something weird happened there with my OBS, but I fixed it. And, yes. I built a giant log out of planks. That's impressive. Okay, build the training dummy. Yes. I got a couple of empty buckets now. Yes. And last one. Fantastic. I've constructed all your equipment. This is wonderful news! Thank you very much! This equipment will improve our agility substantially. I'm glad you like it. That completes step one of the plan. Gustav had an idea of how we can tackle step two. Would you mind having a chat with him? Uh, okay, you're Gustav. Hello, I'm here to help with improving your speed. Yes, excellent! I would actually like to harness some of the energy that teleported us here. What do you know about teleportation tablets? How does a turtle know about magic tablets? The rats all had interesting things to tell us since we appeared here. 
I find these rodents to be disturbingly well informed. How does teleportation tablet help you? I would like to make a short range version so we can catch up to people and make daring escapes. That's actually a pretty good idea. So along with speech, your trip into the abyss has gained you a deep understanding of runes in it, hasn't it? I'm quite content to no allow you to labor under that illusion. That's very comforting. Would you mind finding me some materials to work with? I need two runes for teleportation, some soft clay to mold the tab, and something to calibrate with. The calibration subject needs to be living and weigh the same uh, or more than us. Uh, can't one of your friends do it? Oh, goodness, no. I could not ask them to take that sort of risk. I suggest you find a nice, docile, plump rabbit. Granny Potterington might be able to help us with that. Wonderful. Bring the items back here when you have them. Okay, so I need two runes, clay, and... I need to go see Granny Potterington? I'm not sure I know who that is. Um... But I do have- I do have the rest of that stuff, so that should be fine. Uh, I can also put these buckets away as well. Alright. So, they're gonna use the teleportation tablets as, like, smoke bombs? That'd be hilarious. Then again, I guess we're making magic turtles at this point. <clears throat> Alright, so I need... Okay, let's deposit these. Um, I need two... Two of... Law runes. And then I have clay in here somewhere. Soft clay. And then... Where the heck is Granny Potterington? Who... Who is that? Hold on, I need to look this up. Okay, I'm not the only... Petunia. Oh! Oh, the... Okay. I, uh... I know who that is. I need to go to Ardaung. Um, she's the old lady at, uh... At the, the player-owned farm. I'm surprised that I... I'm surprised that I didn't figure that out. Kaka! All right, so she's up here, uh, over here. Oh, four seasons. Hello there, my little cupcake with pineapple sprinkles. My dear, did you know the Potterington brand has expanded? Why, yes, my little avocado. We have just opened up a new ranch over in Arachronia. Arachronia. Anarachronia. Man, that's hard to say. You can raise a great big bloody lizards there. If you'd like to take a look, you should head upstairs and take a look at the great big vine in the greenhouse. All those farming guild boffins have found a way to make it whisk you all the way over there. It's quite fun. Gave me all the flutters when I tried it. Go on, take a look. I imagine there's lots of things you could do with ingredients harvested from those absolute units. Uh, total combat. Uh, do you know anything about fattening rabbits? <laughs> Granny Potterington's eyes light up brighter than usual. Are you entertaining- entering them into an animal show now, dear? Uh, yeah, let's go with that. How plump are we aiming for? Total size, please. Total size? Well, that's a tricky one. Unless... Hmm, yes, it's time. Be a blueberry and grab me a dense honeycomb and a kebab, would you? I don't like where this is going. Dense honeycombs can be made by popping rosemary in our buzzy bees' homes. Have fun, dear. Okay. So, I need to get rosemary and a kebab. Great. Uh, how do I get rosemary? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, is that something I can just buy? Uh... Members can grow this plant from rosemary seed at level 11. Oh, I can... I think I can buy it. Okay. And then... Uh, a kebab? I can go buy a kebab from, like, a kebab stand. 
But let's go here. And we'll, uh... We'll figure it out. I'd better leave that up, I think. There is a place I can buy kebabs. Unless I have a kebab in my... In my bank, I might... I do like to keep a lot of my random food items that I get. Um... So, I might have one. Just kind of sitting in here. Oh! The evil tree is running around. Um... Doesn't look like I have a kebab. Nope. I'm gonna have to go buy one. Alright. How... Let's see where the... The evil tree should be right over here. Oh, it's like a sprout. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna ignore that for now. Normally, normally I would go take care of that, but since we're doing, uh, I've already done an episode where I fought one of those things. Uh, we'll, we'll ignore that for now. I'll do that on my own time. Alright. That's one of those things. I like to do, I like to do things, like, the first time on camera. But if it's something like that, where it's just, you know, like a repeated event, I'll just do it on my own. Alright. Let's, uh, exchange. Oh, there's a weird line on the screen. Oh, what the heck? Oh. Alright, that was weird. It had, like, weird things over here, too. Okay. Kebab. Let's buy a kebab. Cool. And then, I guess I could buy, uh, honey... Honeycomb, right? Oh, which one did I need? Oh, crap. Um... Some... Dense honeycomb? Extra pounds to an animal. I think that's what she wanted. So let's buy that. Or not. Let's get rosemary, I guess. Uh, nobody's selling this. Let's buy rosemary. Oh, that's worth quite a bit. Oh, people not... People not selling that? Oh, crap. It looks like I'm gonna have to... Do I have a rosemary seed? Rome. I don't. Alright, let's see. Uh. Rosemary. One... I'm gonna drop this at, like, a hundred grand. <laughs> There we go. Somebody sold it. Fantastic. Alright, let's go back to our down. Um... Alright. So, from here I should be able to figure out how to do the thing that she wants. Do I still have... Oh no, it's weird. I only had that line in the Grand Exchange. There's like a weird line down the center of the screen. Okay, so... She said to put it in the... The bee house? Or in the beehives? Oh, there they are. Check beehive. Uh, use rosemary on... Beehive? Take honey. Okay, check beehive. Rosemary, okay. Make. Check honey. Oh, check. How do I... take from beehive? You need something to put the wax in. Like what? Uh-oh. Examine beehive. A home for your bees. Um... Let's see. Do I need to get... Uh... Do I need to get a, um... To get a, 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 a... What do you call it? Probably not a bucket. I'm gonna grab a bucket and I'm gonna grab a, uh... 
a... Oh, I don't have a pot. I'll, get, I'll take a bucket and see if that works. I may have to buy a pot then also. Fantastic. I'm learning how to do things. I'm actually pretty surprised that uh, this is this mini quest is taking so long. Okay, take from beehive. Is that a white rat? Oh, it's a mouse. Um, a home for your bees. Do I need to get a what? What do you call it? A smoker or something? Strange old man. Hand in hard request. Can I trade farmer's market? Okay. Buy bean miscellaneous herbicides, seed aside, farm teeds, titles, farm hands. Uh farm upgrades. I don't I don't see anything that's useful for that. Examine, okay. Maybe, maybe if I talk to you, I can... Uh, yeah, okay, I got information about that already. I, I may have to look up how this works. Because I kind I, I have the... I mean, I've kind of got everything... Oh, build broken storm barn? I, some, at some point, I should probably just go around and build all these things. Farming requests. Oh, interesting. A Barrow's item? Wow. Check Beehive. Uh... Rosemary, farming level 1 needed. Make, take honey. Check flowers stored. One rosemary. Take from? Nope, okay, hold on. I need to look up, I need to look up how this works. Uh, dense honeycomb. Depositing rosemary into a beehive behind one of the player owned towns of large pens and waiting until the collect dialogue appears when clicking the hive. Takes roughly one hour. Oh, oh, that's gonna take way too long. Um, okay. Well, that's a uh, that's a, a little bit longer than I was expecting, so I may have to come back to this at some point. Um, all right. I guess I'm just gonna put this stuff down here, and then oh, do I need to do I need to um uh. Okay, beehive. Let me let me look at the information here. Okay. The beehives, different type of flowers to create a variety of honeycombs. Beehive can build with 27 of each flower. Collected, the option to inspect honey insect repellent is required when from collecting the hives. Okay, where do I get that from? Some can be found in the most eastern house in Catherby, or be obtained from talking to the beekeeper in his apiary. Uh, let's just go pick one up in Catherby. Um, that should be, that should be good, right? I mean, yeah, let's just go to Catherby. Sounds like a plan to me. Just make sure I've got everything ready before I, uh, before I do that. And then I guess I'm gonna have to go start some other quest while I'm waiting for this one to go. So there's some in one of these buildings over here? Um... No, it's this one? Aha! Insect repellent. And a jug of wine. I might as well take that too. I'm, I'm here. <laughs> All right, do I need anything else? What is it with, what is with these, like? Oh, it's gone. That's weird, there's like an outline of some kind of uh, menu there. All right. Uh, okay. 
Honeycombs can be collected if the option to collect honey is given when checking the beehive. Like standard beehives, insect repellent is required when collecting from the hive. There are no flower. If there are no flowers, or the honeycombs are not ready, then collecting the beehive will take the will open the item production window and allow selecting which flowers to add as well as the quantity to make. When honeycombs are ready, then clicking the prompt will collect honey or not. Maybe, hold on. Let me go back to Edgeville. Or let me go back to the, um, I, I guess I'm going to keep this stuff anyway, but let me go back to the, the Grand Exchange and maybe I can buy dense honey for like much more expensive than it is because sometimes you can do that. And then I mean, I, I'd like to, I'd like to finish that up in this episode, but, uh, at the same time, it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. Also, I record these episodes in a couple of episode batches at a time. So that timing would run into the next episode. Actually, like two episodes from now. So if I can get this done before that, without having to worry about waiting an hour. Yeah, that line came back. What is what is all this stuff? Is that that is showing up in my recording? That's weird. Dense honeycomb. Buy one. Let me bop this up to like 10 grand. Wow, nobody nobody is nobody is buying this or nobody is selling it. All right. Uh let's put this here. I can deposit that, and deposit that. And actually I'll probably just need this with me anyway. Um and then we'll have to start a new quest and then like two episodes from now we'll have to finish up this one. Uh, all right. Well, that's uh, that's fantastic. So let's see what else we've got. Uh, Desert Slayer Dungeon. Enter the barrier on the lowest level of the Poly Paul Nivnich Slayer Dungeon and defeat the monstrous Cave Crawler. Basilisk Boss, Mightiest Turoth, and Tresk Overlord. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> so we've got more. Uh, we've got more things. Let me write down these objects that I have here, just so that I know I remember to pick them back up later, because we're gonna go fight some things. So I've got uh, two law rune, uh, a clay, and a kebab, kebab, and insect repellent. All right. I have that, and I remember, I'll remember to use it for next time. Actually, I can put these... I can just click that, and it'll go in. There we go. Alright, I'll remember that those are there. So, let's go to Paul Nivnich, which is... Which is the fastest way to get there from here? I guess it would be to take the, uh take the thing here. So I guess I'm going back down into the, the the dungeon thing that I was in before. Uh, alright. Let's get back to my my other thing. Alright. I think going to Paul Nivnich from here is probably the best option. What else do I... Is there anything else I need down there to take with me? I don't remember. We we fought we fought those things down there before. I don't remember. But let's uh let's uh travel to Paul Nivnich. Actually it's south probably would have been better, I think. Oh no, it's the center, because it's in the it's in the, uh, in the well, isn't it? Alright, I think it's in the well. And, yeah, climb down well. Catolax. So how do I start, how do I start this? Set active. Uh... Oh wait, is this not the right... Oh 
no, this is the right one. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, I don't know what what's going on here. Um, I think... I think some of these things need different items to defeat. I should probably look this up too. Okay. Defeat the monsters Cave Crawler, Basilisk, the Turoth, and the Kurask. Uh, I could just look up the... I could just look up this specific mini quest. Desert Slayer. Oh, required items. Uh... I guess I could, um, I could just have checked that. So let's do that then. Uh, is there a Slayer... Um... Smoky air chokes you. Yeah, that's right. Is there a Slayer Master here somewhere? Or am I gonna have to go somewhere else again? Or do I even have some of these items that I need? Oh, there's a Slayer... There's a Slayer Master up here. Alright. So I think for the Turoth, I need a broad something or other. Trade. Okay. So I needed earmuffs. Buy one. Earmuffs and a face mask. And then I needed to use them on each other to get masked earmuffs. Uh, trade. Oh, I should have, I should have kept that up. Um, Slayer Helmet. Broad bolts. I have, I have some stuff, don't I? Is there a bank here or am I going to have to go somewhere else for that? No, it doesn't look like there is. All right, you know what? Let's, uh... <laughs> Let's go back to Al Karid. Well, either way, you know what? That's about the time I've got for this episode. Like and subscribe if you liked the episode. Ring that bell if you'd like to see more. Good night, and I will uh, come back here with all the things needed to, to do this tomorrow. Bye-bye!